done so I'm just heading out I'm on the road right now going out to Chase BC a few hours from Penticton I'm going to look at this Dyna Wide Glide that's for sale up there that's um 1994 Dyna Wide Glide with 6,400 kilometers on it for $4,500 Canadian. So I'm gonna go pick this thing up as a secondary bike for doing some longer road trips on and stuff. And um, yeah, hopefully it's uh, as good as it seems to be. It was hit by a car, I guess a couple years ago, but it's hardly been ridden at all. So, we'll have to see how it's looking, I guess, when we get there. Just heading out um, along the... the name of this road? Yeah. yeah, just heading out along the Latley Road in West Kelowna. And we thought it would be quicker, but we're stuck behind these freaking slow pokes again, like everybody in this valley. And hopefully, like, I'm trying to make it back before I have to work tonight, so hopefully I'm not late. And, yeah, anyway, I'll film a little more when we get there and, um, you guys can see this bike. Yeah, so, fucking traffic's retarded. And on top of traffic being retarded, the brakes and my brother's truck are about to freaking fail <laughs> so we're just praying that uh we get there and um can you hear that man like listen to those like they're i think they're freaking those brake pads have like completely fallen apart inside of the drum those brake shoes i mean so yeah going to get this bike on a wing and a prayer so hopefully it's worth the drive out there pretty beat up bike but it's got really low kilometers on it so yeah I guess our old man's giving the lady's old man's giving it now because she told me she'd sell it to me for $500 less than the asking price but I just told her man like if you freaking if that bike needs a safety on it and all the bodywork has to be replaced by the time it's all said and done I'm six seven thousand dollars in if i pay five for the bike and then rebuild status on paperwork just reduces the value the overall value of the bike for the, for the life of the bike so it's not even freaking worth it traffic right now, was pretty it's finally kind of clearing up a little bit but it takes like an hour to get through this this town that should on a normal day should take probably like 20 minutes at the most or half an hour to freaking drive through. It's just stupid. And you couldn't get so, brake shoes. Yeah, tried to stop to get brake shoes for so do maybe do like a road, swap. yeah, a parking lot swap or roadside freaking fix real quick, but no one's got any freaking brake shoes in stock, so pray for us we'll be praying for us you guys will be entertained will be entertained <laughs> yeah hopefully <clears throat> that's my old job that's why I used to work very Harley freaking miss it with gas prices so I couldn't afford to keep driving out anyway we'll be back one in a bit.
got using the gears to slow down to freaking save the brakes that are freaking on the border of failing completely. And now we're driving through Vernon. Left onto Squillax Anglemont Road. Signs for Adams Lake, Scotch Creek. Yep. <laughs> Losing the gears, saving the brakes. The brakes that we might not have. Continue on Squillax Anglemont Road for four kilometers. Yeah. 
Oh, Doesn't look like much, but so all we had time to do was freaking pick the bike up and or load it up and leave because I'm on a really tight schedule. I'm already going to be late for work and um, didn't have time to start it up and take it for a test ride or anything like that, but. Um, I would have liked to film me loading it up, but couldn't, couldn't really do that either. Um, and yeah, anyway, it's in the back of the truck right now and we'll, um, see how it's looking when we stop and get it unloaded. We left at 10 a.m. and it's now 3 p.m. Just heading back to... Uh, basically just left this chick's place where I got the bike from so definitely gonna be late for work and hopefully I don't get fired Brakes are still holding out, thankfully. My niece in the back there trying to hide. <laughs> Almost home, about an hour and a half away from home. And then um, I can take a bit of a video of the bike. Probably not today, because I'm gonna have to basically get home and freaking get changed and go ahead straight to work and then um, unload the bike tomorrow and like they wanted me to come in an hour early and now I'm gonna be an hour late like wow this is where I got caught in the rain last time hey guys thanks to anyone who's stuck around for this long and sorry about the long drawn out video but your 17 minutes was my eight and a half or nine hours um i guess y'all can just consider this kind of a long preview of what's to come on my channel good old canada bike So I guess it's an old meteor. Black top bombers. Some cool pinstriping. Maybe he'll turn and we'll actually get a look at the side of the car. That's yeah, I love the freaking hit tail lights on these old cars. Freaking finally getting back to Penticton. It's been like an eight and a half hour trip so far and I'm like late. I'm gonna be like an hour late for work. By the time we get there, man, I'm gonna be in trouble. <laughs> but I got a new bike, so I don't know. Gotta make this YouTube channel work and then it won't matter if I get fired. <laughs> Just kidding bike is unloaded and looks better from this side I tell ya than it does from the other side uh, 
So the bike was hit by some dude's crazy girlfriend, I guess, freaking knocked it over with her car. So it is kind of wrecked, but only 6,000, not even 6,500 kilometers on it. So that's what uh, makes this thing good. Might just build it and sell it. I don't know. Probably build it and ride it around for a little bit and then see how I feel about it. But anyway, that's the bike. And next video will be me giving it a bath. And then, uh, yeah, you guys will get to see this thing come together. Cool. And, uh, yeah, thanks for being on my channel again. And, like always, if you like what you see, or if you just like me, or even if you don't like me, but you like my bike, now my bikes, <laughs> then uh, subscribe to my channel. Uh, leave me a comment and like this video, please. And I will catch you all on the flip side. Peace. I want someone to stand here for me to freaking. Why? Because if I start to slip in this gravel, I'm not going to be able to. Oh, you'll be fine. Okay, I'm going to start. Oh, it's. Let's throw your hip into it. <laughs> yeah. It's heavier because it's got a bigger engine than your other bike, right? No, it's not. <laughs> Sarcasm. Quite the Here lean. Freaking piece of Not for long.